you again refer to hydro as clean, quote unquote. A while back on one of your podcasts, James sort of reluctantly mentioned the environmental impacts caused by dams, so I thought maybe you're finally realizing how horrible hydro is for the environment. But since that episode, I, uh, you've repeatedly referred to hydro as clean. I'm okay with you referring to hydro, and also to nuclear, as low carbon. But both of these technologies are far from clean. The good news for me is that much of the rest of the world is waking up to the fact that hydropower has horrible impacts on the environment. It's time for you to acknowledge this too. Uh, this is Eric in the Bay Area, and he sent us an article, which I'll try and remember to put into the show notes. Um, it's about uh, Michigan rivers, them taking dams down because the rivers are heating up and it's causing eco uh, ecological damage. Um, so uh, out of uh, favor a long time ago. I mean, part of the reason is that all the hydro opportunities are sort of used up in North America, for example. Yeah, the easy ones probably are, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's one, I think, Site C in British Columbia that's been going on for years and is very controversial. And they didn't consult with First Nations, and there's um, all kinds of problems with that. There's, you know, Africa is, is talking about it, the, 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 the Nile, and without consulting other countries. Of course, China is throwing every possible energy generation source at their growing demand, including hydro, including giant hydro projects. And Brazil, I think, um, is, is notable. It's not like that's everything, but I mean, for the most part, mm -hmm. hydro is stopped, right? Because it's actually, it's not even competing on price anymore. And I think that one day um, we will take down the hydro dams, you know, the bigger ones. We'll replace them yeah. with solar and battery and wind and and everything else uh, or whatever else is available 50 years from now. But I don't know. I, I think it's going to be decades before we get to that because we have to decarbonize first. So, a reminder that hydropower can cause environmental and social problems. This is from MIT. Reservoirs drastically change the landscape and rivers they are built on. Dams and reservoirs can reduce river flows, raise water temperature, degrade water quality, and cause sediment to build up. This has negative impacts on fish, birds, and other wildlife. You know, my kid used to be big on... Um, hydro in, in high school and then he came he learned on his own which is cool mm -hmm. sometimes you learn good things on youtube uh from mit climate again this is uh, people are right to think of hydro as a low carbon resource but the variability is very high and there are some reservoirs that have life cycle emissions of greenhouse gases that are higher per unit of electricity produced than a fossil plant uh, you don't want to be uh, advocating hydro everywhere the World Bank estimated in 2000 that between 40 and 80 million people had been directly displaced by dams and reservoirs. Another study from 2010 estimated that 472 million people downstream from large dams suffer from reduced food security, regular flooding, or impacts on their livelihood. Uh, so while hydropower is a good source of low carbon, not clean, low carbon electricity, even countries with plenty of untapped water need to weigh the benefits of hydro against the environmental and social costs of dam projects. They will, uh, there's still room for hydro to grow, but most countries will not build out as much hydropower as they theoretically could, and that may be for the best. So thanks for your letter. Again, we appreciate everyone who writes in. That's Eric from the Bay Area. Yeah, there's a great documentary called Manufactured Landscapes about... Um a famous, you know, landscape photographer whose name escapes me at the moment, but they talk about the Three Gorges Dam in China in that film. And they say in the film that it, when they filled up the dam, this is the largest dam that's ever been built. It, it was actually enough to um, affect the rotation of the earth slightly. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Um a massive, massive project, the Three Gorges Dam in China, and yeah, all kinds of people. They basically just flooded uh, areas where all kinds of people were uh, living. So yeah, hydro, um, not all it's cracked up to be. Low carbon is absolutely the better term for it. I think we just get lazy and, and call it clean. But it, you know, it's very much, I think, the same kind of viewpoint that we have about existing nuclear plants. If you've got existing nuclear plants, you should probably keep them running. Um, and existing hydro, keep them running because those are lo both low carbon sources of power and we need to switch as quickly as possible off of fossil fuels. And if we shut those things down now, that would not help the cause.
Show. 